Here we are in what many people are very afraid of, the bunker. We're going to talk about the basic bunker shot. What most people have in their bag is a sand wedge. A sand wedge is designed to hit the ball out of the sand. And the reason is, is that it has a flange. The flange actually is higher in the back of the club than the leading edge. And that's where you want to hit the sand. You want to hit the sand on the back of the club like this, so it skips through the sand. The way you set up for the bunker shot is you aim left and open the club face to the right of the target. You open the club face up about this much. You open your body up to the target. You aim left. You aim the club face right of the target. You're going to swing left of the target along that line. But since the club face is open, the ball will come out at the target. You open your body up to the target. You aim the club face right of the target. The ball will come out at the target. And then you swing along your body line like this. One of my all-time favorite sand lessons came from Claude Harmon, who taught you how to get out of the bunker with only one hand. What he was trying to achieve there was to hit the, the sand with the back of the sand wedge like this with an open face and make sure that the, the handle of the club, the grip of the club, never either led or came from behind like this. That's a death for a sand shot, is either have the handle too far ahead or too far behind. By doing it with one hand, the club always came back to where the handle was pointing at the middle of your body. Doing it with an open face produced results like this. And you can do it too. You open your body up to the target. You aim the club face right of the target and then you swing along your body line like this. A sand wedge is designed to hit the ball out of the sand. And the reason is, is that it has a flange. And that's where you want to hit the sand. You want to hit the sand on the back of the club like this, so it skips through the sand. Here we have the dreaded buried bunker shot. Ball plugs in the sand. We can't really take just a normal swing and bounce the club underneath the ball. The key here is we have to dig behind the ball and get the leading edge of the club face down underneath the ball. There are two ways to play this shot. When I was a young lad, my dad taught me to do this. He said, play the ball more in the middle of your stance or the back of your stance and shut the club face. Shut the club face. That's a square club face, but take it and tow it in like this. Play the ball back with a towed in club face like this. And I play it a little bit like a low shot. I lean into it like this, left shoulder down, right shoulder high because I want this club to be picked up in the air quickly and then hit down behind the ball digging into the sand sharply. Now, the whole idea right here is to get the ball just out of the bunker because from this type of lie you're not going to get any backspin on this ball. It's one thing. Don't forget to get your feet dug into the sand so that you don't move on this shot. So we get the left shoulder down, the ball sort of the back, in the middle back of their stance Close club face, leaning into it, and we lift up. Pop down on the ball, and that's a very acceptable shot right there from that lie.
Now there's a second way I learned how to hit a buried bunker shot, and that was from my good friend Lee Trevino. Bury this ball in the sand. Lee got the ball a bit farther forward in a stance like this, but then he leaned big time with his legs into it like this. He opened the face up like this, and his whole idea was that when he took the club up, he took the club up very sharply again, and he came down with an open face, but he left the club in the sand like, like this with the open club face. So let's see how that works. Lean forward, ball forward, pick the club up, drop it down behind it, and try to bury it and stick it. Looks like my friend Mr. Davino had a better method. Here's another type of a bunker shot, the uphill lie. Now, one of the things you have to do on an uphill lie is understand that the ball is going to come out very high. And my spot is now where I want to land the ball very close to the hole because the ball is going to be really projected up high and land softly. So that's my aiming spot. To play it properly, what you have to do is lean back with the right knee braced forward like this, but you want your shoulders want your shoulders to be parallel with the slope. And the key element of this swing is different than a normal bunker shot on a flat lie, and that is when you come into the ball, you come into the ball, you rotate your hands just a little faster. You make sure that the club is straight pointing at your belly again. You want to make sure that it's not leaning this way. You don't want the hands to lead the club head into the ball like that because that will cause you to dig into the sand and come up way short. What you want to do is make sure you release the club head like this so that the club is pointing toward your middle section and hit just behind it and continue on up the slope like this. Let's see if it works. I open the face just a little bit and then I release it through. Remember, release through. lean back with the right knee braced forward like this, but you want your shoulders to be parallel with the slope. And the key element of this swing is when you come into the ball, you rotate your hands just a little faster. You make sure that the club is straight pointing at your belly again. I open the face just a little bit, and then I release it through. Now there's another type of uphill bunker shot, the buried bunker shot. We have that quite often in golf. Put the ball in a nice buried shot like this, but instead of using a sand wedge, try a nine iron. This is a tip that I saw Billy Castor use many, many years ago. He got into a really severe uphill bunker shot like that, and I'd never used more than a sand wedge. He took a nine iron out, and basically he just took a swing with a nine iron, hit behind the ball, kind of chipped it, and the ball just popped out and rolled to the hole. So by keeping a club face square, making sure you're still back, back of the ball like this with your shoulders, your shoulders must be level with the upslope like that, your right knee kicked in, but now you're using a different club, this ball is going to roll. So the spot, instead of being way up there, the spot I'm trying to hit is just out of the bunker, just four or five feet on the green here. So this is what I try to do. Instead of using a sand wedge, try a nine iron. So by keeping a club face square, making sure you're still back of the ball like this with your shoulders, your shoulders must be level with the upslope like that, your right knee kicked in, but now you're using a different club, this ball is going to roll. So the spot I'm trying to hit is just four or five feet on the green here.
Now what happens when you have a downhill bunker lie? Just like the downhill shot, we have to align our body with the slope. We have to align our body and make sure that we get our weight on the inside of our left foot and keep it there. We have to get our shoulders aligned with the down slope like this. We can't lean back into the slope with gravity and be perpendicular to gravity. We have to lean down the slope like this. Now, for a downhill shot like this, we have to have the face open. We have to make sure that we take the club on a very vertical path. We don't want to hit the sand on the backswing because that's a two-shot penalty. We want to make sure that the club clears that lip, going back, goes vertical, and then down very sharply with an open face, just behind the ball. You have to catch it behind the ball, and then you swing on through like this, keeping the face open. Now let's try this shot. Lean down the slope, weight on the left foot, wide stance, shoulders with the slope, take the club up, keep the face open going through like this. You have to hit it actually pretty hard. As you see, it's not an easy shot. By doing all these things, making sure that you keep the club face open, you come up, you drive it down, and keep it open through the impact area, you have the best chance of a success from a downhill bunker line. Now let's talk about maybe the toughest shot in golf, just to get the ball in the green. What happens if you should be so unfortunate to have a downhill buried bunker shot? All right, we'll put the ball in a buried lie in the downhill like this. Now, again, the key here is to get very steep with the club. Steep with the club, up and down. The only way to do that is to lean down, lean down, get the left shoulder low, right shoulder high, so you can pick the club up easily with your hands and then really drive it underneath the ball like that. Again, this is a lot like what Lee Trevino talked about as far as a buried bunker shot is concerned with an open club face. Let's see if this works. Up. Ah. Stay on the green. Now that was a success. The toughest bunker shot is the long bunker shot because we have to make contact a little bit closer to the golf ball to make sure that we get enough forward momentum of the golf ball as it goes out to the, to the long pin. Remember, I have a spot that's way out there and I'm trying to project this ball all the way out to that spot. Now, you do the same thing as far as your setup position is concerned. You're slightly left to the target. The face is slightly open. You're leaning into the ball slightly. The right knee is kind of kicked in. But the key here is when you're hitting into the ball, instead of keeping the club face in the open position going through, as you do for a shorter bunker shot, you release it a little bit sooner. Release it a little bit sooner to have you hit the ball in this position right here. You must hit behind it, but still, with the weight forward in your left foot, hit slightly down behind it in the sand, and by releasing the club head going through, you project the ball going forward. Well, that's one way to play it. Another way to play it is change clubs. For a long bunker shot, instead of trying to project it out there and hit really close to the ball, take a less lofted club like a pitching wedge. The problem is the pitching wedge doesn't have the flange to it. So still, keep the face open. The flange is very square now. It's not raised up. It's not raised up like a sand wedge. It's very square. So take a pitching wedge, open the face up a little bit. Again, you're trying to hit just behind the ball. You project the ball forward, and the ball gets out there. Those are two ways to play it. There's a third situation. What about a long buried bunker shot? Well, keep the pitching wedge in your hand. Got a nice buried lie right here. 
And this time, you want to make sure that you keep the club head going through like this. You don't want to stop it. You want to keep the momentum going with the club head as you go through. This will project it out and make the ball roll a long way. You don't necessarily have to open the face very much. You probably just slightly open like this. And as you hit down into the ball, make sure you carry it on through like this, and the ball will get out there. Let's see how it works. Ah, that's three ways to play in long bunker shots. I hope you can enjoy doing it the same way as I just did. Now let me talk about the fairway bunker shot. This shot is somewhat scary to people because they tend to hit behind the ball and the ball comes out just poof, it doesn't go anywhere. The key here is to first set your feet in the sand so that you, your feet will not move when you make the golf swing. The second thing to do, since you've set them in the sand, you have to grip up on the club about the same distance you go into the sand. Sometimes you know, it could be as much as an inch. So make sure you grip up on the club. Obviously you can't touch the sand, but you put the club head behind the ball in your normal position. A little shorter club, like this. Then, right before you take it back, lean into the ball like this and keep your weight there during the golf swing. Don't swing from your normal position here, just lean slightly forward right like that. Then make your golf swing with your weight on your left side, ensuring that the club head is going to come in the downward position, hit the back of the ball first. Now let's see how it works. This is a normal position. Lean forward, take it up. And you hit the ball first. Now let's review that. Make sure when you, when you establish your stance in the sand first, make sure that you get in the sand so your feet don't move. You grip up on the club about an inch. You take your normal position, your normal position like this, and to prevent you from hitting behind the ball, lean forward like that and then swing from that position right up like that. That's the way to hit a long fairway bunker shot. 